What is up? How to use Nation. And today we're going to be discussing how to use Quillfish for Great League. This is the infotainment screen. Everything you need from team partners, movesets, and IVs can be found right here. If you like this video, maybe give me a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and share me with all your friends. Now, without further ado, let's jump right into it. Now, Quillfish is a water and poison type Pokemon, rocking Poison Sting as its fast move, Aqua Tail, and Sludge Wave respectively as its charge moves. Team partners today is going to be Crustle, rocking Smackdown, Rock Slide, and of course, X Scissors. And last but certainly not least is going to be Shadow Tyranitar, also rocking Smackdown, Stone Edge, and Crunch. I've done videos on both Crustle and Shadow Tyranitar in the past, Link to the videos can be found in the lovely description box below. So Quillfish has a very interesting typing, very similar to Tentacruel. However, I would argue that Quillfish is a lot better than Tentacruel was. Getting access to Poison Sting allows it to charge Aqua Tail incredibly quickly. Sludge Wave obviously takes a little bit longer, but it's worth the patience to get to because it can pretty much one-shot anything that's fairy or anything weak to poison and if it's not weak to poison, is going to be doing tremendous damage to that Pokemon, unless, of course, they resist it. Now, being part poison, Quillfish is going to be weak to both ground and psychic, so that is definitely a negative about this Pokemon, but interestingly enough, because you do get access to Aqua Tail being a water type or part water type, you can take on those ground types by spamming Aqua Tail at them, forcing them to throw a shield to protect themselves. The fast move Poison Sting is actually very effective to charge your charge moves. I thoroughly enjoy using Poison Sting as a fast move. I'm not looking at it in terms of damage, I'm more so looking at it from the perspective of being able to get to Aqua Tail relatively quickly. Because the one thing that of course Quillfish is going to lock itself into is being a water type first and its poison moves type second. Obviously you will not get to Sludge Wave unless you charge up to it and you have to hope that your opponent will not throw their charge move before you get the sludge wave and then just block it. So leading with Quillfish really puts your opponent in a position if they're using a ground type to have to swap out or get hit neutrally by Aqua Tail. But I think the one thing that bothers me about Quillfish is the fact that unlike the other poison types in the meta, it doesn't get access to Poison Fang, which I understand that not every poison type can get access to that move, but I feel like adding the poison typing to Quillfish really doesn't do much outside of being able to use Poison Tail and Sludge Wave. There really isn't much use as it being a poison type. And in fact, I think it's really a hampering that it doesn't get access to Poison Fang when it gets access to both Sludge Wave and Poison Sting anyway. So it's like, why not give it Poison Fang? But that is definitely a oversight by Niantic. However, having access to Aqua Tail, as I've been saying, is actually quite amazing because you could spam it thoroughly quickly. Um, and being able to hit, obviously, anything weak in the meta to water is always going to be very beneficial. It just lacks a decent, spammy poison move, I guess. So, as you guys know, I rate Pokemon on an A to F ratio. A being the best the Pokemon could possibly be and F being the worst that the Pokemon could possibly be. And Quillfish is kind of a little bit of a mixed bag. And for that reason, I'm going to give it a D. And here is why. Quillfish gets a D because while it does have a great move in Aqua Tail, the rest of its moveset really leaves a lot to be desired. Sludge Wave is great when you can land it, but again, you have to land it. Now, while Poison Sting does charge your moves incredibly quickly, even Sludge Wave, it's not beneficial as a fast move to the rest of its moveset. Most Poison types now rely on being defense droppers. And because Quillfish doesn't get access to being a defense dropper, and it doesn't get access to Sludge Bomb, it's kind of really below par compared to a lot of the other Poison types we have in the meta right now. On top of that, this thing is weak to Psychic, Electric, and Ground. That's a hard combination to counter, 
hence why I'm running two rock types in order to do so, because it's the best setup in the meta for me to be able to protect my goldfish in the lead. But the fact that I have to rely on my team partners to cover pretty much all of my weaknesses puts this thing below average because even average Pokemon in Great League are able to counter some of their weaknesses. But the only one that Quillfish can sort of counter is Ground with Aqua Tail. But before you get to Aqua Tail, you're going to be using a move that most Ground types are not going to be very effective by, especially if you're doing, you know, up against a Galarian Stunfisk, for example, Steel Ground, it's going to resist poison. So until you get to Aqua Tail, you're not really countering those ground types and a lot of ground types especially mud boys in particular get access to mud shot as their fast move and then earth power or earthquake depending on which one they are as their charge moves so again quillfish is very middle of the road very subpar slightly below average and for all those reasons and more that is the reason why this pokemon is going to get a d and with that being said what do you guys think of quillfish have you been using him in great league let me know down below. If there's anything else you guys would like to see me use in Great League, Ultra League, or Master League, please feel free to sound off down below. As always, guys, I greatly appreciate all the love and support you guys continue to show me on all of my videos, and I will see you guys for the next How to Use video. Thanks for watching.